uh, in this program, we are going to uh, list the files in the directory uh, using the directory pointer. Uh, for that, uh, here uh, we have initialized the directory pointer dp and uh, extract of vran. It is available in the vran.h uh, file. It is a type of uh, <coughs> directory uh, where uh, you will have a structure of file name and the, uh, its file number. And here I am checking in the if loop, I should give like two argument. If, if it is less than two, then I am just printing its we have provided only one argument and in the next if if there is uh, if I cannot open the directory then uh, cannot open the one uh, and in the next one in this while loop it will list all the each and every files and I'm just printing it in and uh, this this D name is for the structure uh, of the parent. So I'm just going to copy and So it has only one argument, uh, it has uh, treating as like uh, you have provided only one argument. Now I am giving like two argument. <coughs> uh, it cannot locate this directory, so it is printing like cannot open a uh, file. Uh, this will list all the files available in our directory. This is same as the ls command, but the difference is like you are doing it using the directory pointer and the parent structure. So that's all for the lab. We'll go to the project. I'll just uh, give you the uh, recap. Uh, all of you have uh, done and uh, posted it in Canvas. Just to make sure that you have done it correct or whether if the program output is not coming as expected. Uh, in the phase one, you just need to create the child process that was your task. Uh, in order to do that, uh, uh, in the first, you need to get the commands from the user, and then you need to fork the process. After forking, in the child process, uh, execute that exdb command, and in the parents process, just wait for the child to get complete. And uh, next, just put it in a while loop to do it recursively to, 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 
do the stuff. And uh, if you are giving the exit command, then you should come out of, out of the loop. Uh, check it for the basic error handling and uh, the proper termination of the process. Once if you are perfect with the first one, then uh, you can move to the phase two. Otherwise, it will show it, it will not work as you expecting, as we are expecting. So make sure that uh, phase one has been error free for you. So regarding the uh, phase two. Uh, in addition to the uh, phase one program, just you need to add a feature called a selection. Uh, if a user types in the command a prompt, if a user types like selection for the command, then you should display all the executable file uh, available in your uh, current path in alphabetical order. And uh, when the user gives like, uh, and if the user types any of the inputs, then it should be executed, uh, I mean, the uh, executable file should be ex executed. Then after successful execution, it just need to go back into the loop and it should ask for the commands. Uh, like, So in, in this directory, if I'm giving uh, uh, my project program and I'm running, I'm giving selection. Then it should display like what are all the users' executable file. You can see over there uh, the X one, the fourth one, uh, which is like a dot out, r out, w three and w out, and it should be displayed in the ascending order, uh, like one for a dot out or uh, like whatever you're giving. Like it has been specified in the project one. Like the, these are the executable files. It should be like not one a dot out, two b dot out, three ex. Then we should uh, get the choice from the user. If I'm giving three, then ex one file should be executed, and it should uh, give the proper output, and it should come out. And again, it should go into the loop. So that was your task. This, this, it's like uh, addition of uh, phase one. class and if you're having any doubt or uh, problem with your phase one submission you can meet me after the class.